Paco Hernandez, you in there? Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Continuing on with my pursuit of 100% in Red Dead Redemption 2. You have to do stranger missions, you have to do all kinds of missions. And to be honest with you, one of the more interesting missions is Four Good Men and a Woman. And it involves you pursuing yeah. former gunslingers with reputations and trying to get a picture of them. Most of the time you have to kill them. Well this is a redo of those missions that I think I did on my first playthrough and I'm doing Flaco Hernandez and he is one where his encampment is north in the cold weather and you really have to be careful with his guys because they're not welcoming and Arthur can get into trouble and the best way to do it is shoot these guys at a distance like I'm going to be doing soon. After you kill the last bad guy, you get the message, go to the shack. That means it's safe. Everyone is dead except Flacco. My advice, search the guys because they disappear if you don't search them or if you go to Flacco and he comes out, you may actually get to loot the guys twice, which means you get double the loot. So again, loot the guys, then go talk to Flacco. After, you might get to loot them again or they disappear. It's a, guess I could say crapshoot in regards. But like I said, just loot them anyway. You get something. Take the bread, take the salmon, take whatever you can out of the camp. Then go talk to Flacco. Flacco Hernandez! You in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? Put your weapons away! Now come out! I'm unarmed! <coughs> well, King <laughs> Gallagher. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Uh, here's your message. Don't worry about dropping your weapon for the gunslinger's weapon because you will get your own weapon back. 
Now, I entered the cabin, and the first thing I'm going to do is search it, and really search it, because I didn't do it the first time, and I missed a lot of stuff. Anyway, part of getting 100% is picking up the weapons of the dead gunslingers, because you have to pick up so many, I guess, weapons and find so many weapons in order for it to count toward 100%. So yeah, don't worry about losing your weapon because you get it back in the weapons locker or when you get on your horse. That map I just showed you, that is another thing you need to do in order to get to 100%. You need to do the Poison Trail map. And I'll probably do a video on that at some point. But there are many things that you will need to do in order to get 100%. And it's actually kind of related to these other missions. So yeah, collecting cigarette cards. you got to collect at least one set and mail it off. I think I did a video on cigarette card collecting. I'll attach it in the description below, just like I'll attach my old Flacco Hernandez video into the description below. But again, all this relates to you having to get 100%. And you get a lot of ex extra stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of almost like you need to do this. When I mention you get to loot the bodies twice, this guy wasn't here when I did the cabin thing. So, hey, more stuff to loot. And again, just loot everything in the camp you can get. And these guys remained. They didn't disappear. They didn't change positions. Either way, loot. And then, yep, this guy I didn't loot and he's still here. More stuff. Again, you just take a look around, and if you feel like you've done enough looting, go back to your horse and continue on. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button, If and feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, I post Four videos in relation to video games a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. You want to stay informed, and subscribing and hitting the bell icon is the best way to do that. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.